Order accepted. Leapfrogging is an important skill for Terrence. It involves moving tanks or widow mines from the back line to the front line, using the tanks or widow mines that used to be in front to cover for them and slowly push across the map or battle. Without this trick, the player has to wait until the siege tank gets into position before sieging up again, wasting valuable time that could be used to do something more productive. It is important to have the widow mines and tanks in their own control groups. If they are not in their own control groups, any movement of the main army will interrupt their sequence of actions, causing the player to make mistakes because they think the siege tanks are sieged and in position when they're not. To do this trick, start by selecting the unit or units that you want to move. Then press the hotkey for unsiege. Press and hold shift and right click the new location where you want the siege unit to go. Continue to hold shift and press the hotkey for siege, then let go of shift. When you put this all together it looks like this. This trick also works for widow mines, as well as getting unseaged units into position. Technically, this trick can also apply to swarm hosts, but it's not very common. One of the reasons for this is that you cannot cue the rally point for the locusts until the swarm host had started to burrow, making any advantage gained by this tactic very small. My name is Jack Attack, and as always, thanks for watching. If you have an idea for a video that you'd like us to do, please leave it along with any questions, comments, criticisms, concerns, or anything beginning with the letter C in the comment section below, and we'll see you again soon.